How's it going? Adam Drake here, and today I want to share a little bit more information about how I shim my upper rear shock standoff for Nitro and Electric Buggy. So I did the under the hood video of my MBX8R Nitro Buggy recently, and then I had a few people comment wanting to know what parts are used and kind of why I shim the upper standoff. Now, it's really simple. I will share with you the part numbers from Mugen. You just use one two millimeter and one three millimeter washer. You do need to get a three by 30 millimeter cap head screw. Um, a ton of companies make them. You can get them from Fasteners Express, things like that. Um, but the main reason for doing this is to help the car accelerate a little bit better through rough conditions. Because what it's doing is it's kicking the top of the shock back, so it's it's essentially angling the shock slightly back, but then the shock is mounted to your suspension arm, which also is slightly angled back because of the anti-squat. So as the arm is moving and traveling through the throw, as you're going through bumps, it just makes the suspension a little bit freer, um, less binding, and um, just overall a little bit better, a little bit more grip uh, in rough conditions. Um, now, the nice thing with doing it the way I have it with the washers versus using like a, a traditional um, aftermarket standoff, um, I believe Avid, there's a few different companies that make um, standoffs that are like plus four and a half or plus five millimeters, which those work well. And if you like the five millimeters and that's what you run all the time it's actually simpler than using these washers but the reason why i like having the washers is because i can then tune that shock angle because as you lay the shock back or increase that angle it does make the shock a little bit softer initially and if you're on a higher grip track you may want to remove the washers altogether and stand the shock up more or split the difference and just run a two millimeter washer or three millimeter washer. So I'll show you a little bit closer look and then I'll also talk um, about the part numbers and just how simple it is to do this tuning adjustment to your Mugen vehicles. Okay, so here's what we're referring to as the upper rear shock standoff. So again, you will need to get a three by 30 millimeter cap head screw because when you shim this shock standoff back with the stock 25 millimeter screw, you won't be able to get the nut on unless you switch to the longer screw. As far as the washers go, these are just Mugen parts. The three millimeter washer is H0181D-G and the two millimeter washer is H0181C-G. So again, hopefully you can see here um, as when the car is sitting flat on the ground, the shock is kicked back, has just a little bit of angle. And then again, this is going to allow as the car is going through bumps and the suspension is compressing, it's going to keep the arm angle and shock angle more perpendicular to one another and just allow the suspension to be a little bit more plush and have a little bit more grip through through rough and choppy terrain. And again, Avid and a few different companies make standoffs to where you don't have to get these washers. I like to have the washers to be able to tune and adjust for the different track conditions. But in most conditions, um, because the tracks that we run on are, even though we have a big variety of tracks, it, it tends to, in the US, we have, um, you know, a little bit of chop and dust and some areas with good grip. Um, we get a little bit of everything. So I like being able to tune and, um, but normally I use the plus five millimeter um, worth of washers to shim the standoff back.